the vagus nerve impacts so many physiological systems from breathing to heart rate to digestion. And a hundred years ago, it was the thing to study in neuroscience. It was very accessible um, and, and controlled such important physiological systems. And for some reason, it's been forgotten in the molecular and genetic era. So I think we can learn a lot from borrowing knowledge in other systems. So, um, you know, the tools that we use to understand how our sense of smell works, for example, in vivo imaging, uh, optogenetics, we can apply these directly. Um, to the vagus and there are interesting wrinkles and novelties in the vagus system but having expertise in studying sensory systems we can borrow from that vast literature and, and move into this uncharted territory with a lot of tools and a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, techniques to unravel it. I think there are really great problems, mechanistic problems in sensory biology of how you detect a heartbeat, how do you detect the lung stretching when you eat a meal and you get full and your stomach expands, how do you detect that? Um, and uh, so they're really important and really interesting biological questions that remain uncharted. So it's, it's fun to jump in and try to figure these problems out.